<clears throat> so in the uh, standard number six, <clears throat> the, uh, the teacher understands and uses multiple methods of assessment to engage learners in their own growth, to monitor learners' progress, and to guide the teacher in learners' decision making. Uh, this standard emphasizes the importance of a variety of types of assessment in the classroom to engage different students' strengths. Assessment is essential to every classroom as a teacher must keep track of where his or her students are and need to be and where they are going next. Forming assessments helps the teacher focus everyday classwork as well as noticing when students require extra help or if they already understand the concept. Summative assessments allow the teacher to make decisions based on how well the students perform after working in class, giving students applicable work and testing their application of the knowledge. Uh, communication is one of the biggest foundations that teaching is built on. Um, being aware of the different forms of the communication and the knowledge that comes with it being the assessments and uh, when to give homework, when not to, um, being able to communicate verbally and non-verbally. Uh, verbally being what you're saying is being understood and uh, the students know what to expect of you and then the non-verbal can be your hand gestures, nodding, your body posture, facial expressions. All of these things can uh, have an impact on how you communicate to class. And this here is just an example of a test that you could give as written by the standard six here. You could also do math journals to where they have to work out the problems in a math journal or just doing homework, you know. Um, homework's the easiest way, the best way to um, keep practicing what you're doing. Um, I also interviewed a, a buddy of mine who teaches PE there at the middle school and I asked him kind of about this standard <coughs> and uh, he doesn't use it so much because he doesn't work in a, in a classroom setting because he teaches PE but um, when he does tests on the different subjects whether it be pickleball or basketball or softball or whatever he uses each one of these assessment styles in order to uh, see where his students are on the grasp of the of the game or the knowledge and the uh, the sport that they're working on uh, so i think you can use it in, in any type of setting in the, in the classroom and uh, really let you gauge how the students are doing in each of these areas that way you can determine which areas the student needs to be better at and you can use these form of assessments in this standard in order to help that thank you